Let's go again. She's such a freak. How we doing, everybody? John here. You know that already. We still don't trust you. Future Metro booming. We still don't trust you. What a few weeks it's been. Straight back on. Straight away. Okay. I mean. Right. Quickly, before we get into this, straight away. The instrumental is gorgeous. I think that's just becoming a given. With Metro booming at this point. Able again? Able again? Come on. We knew he was going to be on this album. He's been putting out stories on his Instagram all week about it. One hour, 28 minutes? When you just released an album three weeks ago? Normally, I would say I'm not interested too much. This, though, considering how amazing the first record was and how culture-shifting it was and continues to be, I can do 90 minutes, no problem. This, I'm not going to learn it today. Oh, he's talking about the Paris Stadium. Where we met, Abel. I feel seen. Let's say that bit. This is awesome. It doesn't sound anything like we don't trust you. We don't trust you. We still don't trust you. Yeah, that's the names of the records. Are we getting 19 minutes of this style of music? I mean, just, just, uh, I'm here for it. Metro, Future, Abel, contributors, whoever they may be for the rest of the album, please just know that we are ready and ready to absorb. Okay, now it just sounds like something from Dawn FM. I would stand up, but I disappeared from that. I'm not sure. Woo. Fire! What a start. Unbelievable. Okay. Drinking dance. What's it? What's it? Not again? Again? What's going on? Or is this just a weekend album? She's dropping it down. Right after I smash. I just wanna do is fuck again. After she climax, I just wanna do is fuck again. Right after I smack, I just wanna do is fuck again. After she climax, I just wanna do is fuck again. I just wanna do is drink and dance. Seas, bank account, penthouse, marble flows, me and couch. Boss bitches, so promiscuous, one car, and I'm so first out. I would switch from like disco four on the floor, almost house, to straight. Trap, but gentle, smooth. Do this fuck again, 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 again. I just wanna do is drink and dance, again, 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 again. Cup of tea. I just wanna do is drink and dance. She driving down to a freaking again, again, again. Probably already dead in the comments. It wasn't Abel, it was Chris Brown. You can understand how I made the mistake. After she climax, what you wanna do is fuck again. Soon as they check it out the okay. ground, now I we can just clearly wanna do it fuck okay. again. Okay. Okay. okay, Right after I took her down, okay. I just wanna do is fuck again. First reaction. You can kill me in the comments again. if you want. I just wanna do is drink and dance. Freaking again. I just wanna 
I prefer the first song, definitely, but yeah, interesting vibe so far on this album. Much gentler. Special occasions, be smoke nigga like Pax. Plans ain't real two tone. I already know what I'm on. Know what I'm on. Try to look just like clone. Three bitch laying my wrong. Laying my wrong. Ten chiller drag to the floor. Ten chiller drag on the hall. Drag on the hall. Nice ain't getting no sleep. Got a money machine on the floor. Got money machine. Official, everything I do official. Grab on your pistol, nigga. I fuck your sister, nigga. She <laughs> like a hooker, nigga. <laughs> Pull on the Mac, ain't holding that back. I'm going through the back. I'm ready to go splash. I'm ready to go splack. A real nigga whack. And that's just ten chiller drag to the floor. Ten chiller drag on the hall. Drag on the hall. Nice Smooth track. He should do this thing, but it feels like we might need a feature. I needed his fire. Can't do coach. Came back Gen G4. What Metro is doing on this, I don't know if it's him directly playing those synths or somebody else. I'm not 100% sure, but whatever is being done on those synths is superb and it gives these songs these songs and on a previous album and in fact on all of metro's projects especially his more recent work love all his stuff but i just you can hear him getting better and better and better over time which is what we love on his more recent stuff like the complexity of his arrangements the the depth of his production the cinema that he produces with his soundscapes is what elevates him to the very 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 top of his profession and this is like era defining music now. And he's been defining an era for many years as a very young man. Now he's hitting what I would consider his prime in terms of his age, in terms of his skill set, in terms of the types of sounds that he's exploring. It really is something to behold. Hey, jealous now. Who's jealous? Normally in a future album, I would consider it one of his many conquests. But now I'm thinking, is it Drake? <laughs> It's probably not about Drake, considering what he just said. Sex with you must be heaven. Unless he's just complimenting Drake to beat him up. No, it's not about Drake. Again, it sounds crazy. Don't you treat me like an average. Don't know why you made me jealous. Sex with you is much more you deserve it, you the baddest You're not supposed to take advantage Constipating, I feel abandoned See, I wasn't sure about this one at first, but when it dropped back in When it dropped back in, I was like, actually Everything that's combining together, fire Fire I don't know why you made me jealous Rose gold by Patty what I love about this is that the synth that's going that's similar to the type of synth that you'd hear in maybe a Lil Uzi track or some of the other artists that sound similar, whether it's Carti or, or some of the newer guys like Ken Carson. But there, it's often like accompanied by blown out bass and the mix is weird and it doesn't appeal to my ears as a relatively old man. Whereas here... It's put into the mix gorgeously. It's surrounded by like velvety secondary synths, beautiful drums. So it just makes the track curious in a way where it's kind of juxtaposing with the rest of the smoothness of the track. So it adds an extra element, but it's beautiful on the ears as opposed to being distracting like it quite often is with some of those artists to me. Yeah. Told them what it came, I'm a car through, flushing through the city in a brand new G wagon. Ooh. I told the bitch to take the time out, she need to find out what make a rich nigga like me happy. Heard you been going to the gym, doing yoga, got a trainer on deck, baby. Tell me where you're going. Hope you go to Free Florida load. when you come, Free just load. throw it. Gotta feel away, yeah, feel away. No, a nigga, feel away, feel mm. away. Tell oh, my yeah. nigga, slip away, slip away. Listen, who's making music that sounds like this? They're innovating on this album, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, there's R&B elements. It's generally a much softer record than the first one so far. 
And we're five tracks in, and I thought we were getting a certain thing five tracks in on the previous record. Then Mr. Lamar turned up, so who knows what's going to happen. We've got a lot of tracks to go. It's a completely different soundscape. I think I've come in expecting more fire to be aimed at Drake and whoever else might be in the crossfire. Right now, it's like, oh, no, 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 no. We're just going to do this. This isn't really about that yet. I mean, five tracks out of 25, right? Now, here's something that I'm observing about Metro at the moment. I truly believe that he is now determined to reshape the era of music that we're living through right now. Like I said, he's been involved in kind of reshaping it before from when he was young. But now it feels like he wants to redefine what this sound is and push it back out, connecting hip hop to trap in a way that perhaps wasn't there 10 years ago, I guess it was, and going forward, but also pushing out into new sounds. This is far more R&B. Obviously, he's done all the Spider-Man stuff. And it reminds me, in a weird way, of what somebody like Kurt Cobain and Nirvana did all the way back then, where it was the hair metal sound, and then there was the kind of punk sound that it existed. But they, along with other bands, but they were at the forefront of shifting the sound to create a new era. That era was called grunge. This era, it feels like this isn't the end of something. That's what I've been feeling like with music recently. It feels like we're at the tail end a lot of the times of hip hop. That sounds ridiculous, okay? That sounds like a ridiculous statement, but I think you know what I mean. Like the big artists that have been big for 10 years and 20 years and 30 years aren't doing the same sort of numbers. Other genres are coming in, countries coming in, making noise and becoming perhaps the biggest genre in America once again. And Metro's like, no, 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 no. We just need to shift the landscape. And we're going to do it subtly in some ways, sonically, but we're also going to do it by jumping up and kicking you in the fucking face like Lyoto Machida. UFC 300 this weekend. What a weekend. Let's go. Have some shit come through, baby. If you're down to try it, pick one up, pick a few, baby. If you're down to try it, take my shirt off on these songs like a savage. Wake up on another night last week, I forget. I know my car committed when I'm in your city, do it big and let my Ooh. name. Anytime I'm in it, I'ma kill it. I just gotta kill it. Fucking with the realest, can't be tripping, girl. Get out your feelings. Turn a bad girl, Ooh. good. I got the power on my side. Fuck me bad, do me good, girl. I'm just kind of bite. Have some five tracks in, very different vibe to what I was expecting, but fire. I like good girl. I like good girl. I like good girl. But I love bad I like good girls. I like good girls. I like good That's the, that's the most romantic thing the future has ever said. It's cheering as take me into your loving arms, kiss me under the light of a thousand stars. And future, future has, let's get so drunk we forget to fuck. <laughs> Oh, she did a thing with me. Treat you good, you play with me. Good girls, that's okay with me. Bad bitches get everything. I like good girl. I like good girl. I like good girl. I went to penthouse just cause she a vibe. I went for Gary just to switch your style. Uh, uh, yeah. Don't know how long these legs gonna keep around. Yeah, honestly, probably my least favorite track on the album so far. It's quite funny, but yeah, I mean, it's not the best. The sample's kind of cool in the background. But we've got the amazing interlude now. It's a Yoshi story type beat. Girls kissing girl, that's amazing to me. It's that a black girl, Caucasians on me. Girls kissing girl, that's amazing to me. It's that a black girl, Caucasians on me. Yeah. Chain on your neck, that's amazing to me. The car that you're bipping, that's amazing to me. Look at how you drive, it's amazing to me. I think Future might be on ecstasy during this song because he seems pretty impressed by basically everything. Never turn your back on me, that's amazing to me. Bottle of water, that's amazing to me. Like an old school Luther and Van Dross sound? Future, you got it in you? You don't look down at me, girl, when I'm crying. You made me want to live when I felt like dying. 
the way I converse back and forth with you is so inspiring. I sit back and look at the curves on you, I can't deny it. I can't deny it. I can't deny I love fly with you. I can't deny I get high with you. I can't deny I survive with you. I even like your attitude. I make a call up the Gucci for you. I get the acting I'm ruling for you. Call up the jeweler. I just can't get over the fact that he says, I can't deny I look fly with you. As if that's like a romantic thing to say to a girl. Who is he? He's not normal. The guy's just not normal. We don't want him to be normal. You gave me life when my heart was numb. I need to sing you a song or something. I need to sing you a song or something. <laughs> this is, he's never going to get more romantic than this. This is all you're going to get, girls. This is, it. this is the maximum. The guy is fucking hilarious. It's hot. <laughs> Taking it back, taking it back. At the beginning of this, I said it sounds like something that Luther Vandross would sing on. It's like, suit you calling his locker? Now, I mean, realistically, the answer to that question is no, but I actually think that he suited the song really well and his verses were quite funny. But if there's somebody who can sing on this type of instrumental, I think we know who it is. The biggest show in Paris You sing it in the loudest You'll always be the No, that wasn't about a girl that he met in Paris. What did he just say? They could never diss my brother's baby. Yes. They could when never they diss my brother's baby. When they I got leaks in their operation. I thank God that I never signed my life away. I mean, that is pretty direct, as far as I'm concerned. So we had Kendrick going pretty damn direct on the previous album, and now we have Abel going pretty damn direct here. Obviously, there has been tension between Abel and Drake forever. I don't know exactly what caused it. I think a lot of people have hoped for the reunion for many years, and hey, that may still happen. Sometimes this music industry is like wrestling. But I think sides have been picked here, quite honestly, clearly. I don't know what Mr. Graham's done to upset everybody so much, but... He definitely has. This switch from uh, a, a love song to having a go at Drake all of a sudden, which is strange, but it's fucking awesome. I promise that I got your back And we never do the big talk They shoot us making TikToks we Never do the got big talk, laughing. they're shooters making TikToks? Got us laughing in the Lambo Laughing in the Lambo yeah. I promise that I got your back Oh, now it's switched. I promise that I got your back. And now about Future and Metro. Wow. Interesting. Wow, what an era. We're in it right now. We're literally in it right now. We're in the good old days right now. Previous good old days, about 2018. Right now, new good old days. I've had a lot of people complaining. Some artists complaining about, you don't even know these artists. And why are you talking about this? As if, like, why are you getting involved? You're like... Human beings love war, love conflict, love competition. This is what this is. If hip-hop and this world is competition, and it's supposed to be like a sport, and sports themselves are representations of war, that's what sport is, all the way back to our tribal innate nature. Why do you think there are people going rabidly insane at football matches? week after week after week, getting into fights in the crowd. Some people only go to football matches to fight the other fans. 
they don't even really watch the game. Viewing and being a spectator and picking a side is innate to us as a human. You can detach yourself from that. And perhaps if you're an artist and you feel like you're kind of in it from the other angle, you don't understand why everybody's interested like that. But to dismiss it, it's just, honestly, it's ignorant. Of course, of course we're going to be interested. Why wouldn't we be? It's part of who we are as humans. And we're in an era where the biggest artists in the world are going for each other. Well, I should say, as I say they're going for each other. They're going, to, um, they're going to Drake from this side. We haven't had anything back yet. But to be fair, seems like there was a lot of stuff from Drake that was kind of subliminal for a long time. And now it's coming back. But by all accounts, and by all accounts, I mean Mr. Joe Budden, there is a Drake disc coming. But I imagine it might be altered now. If there is a Drake disc coming that is going at Kendrick and The Weeknd, my goodness, plus Future, plus Metro, plus whoever else. J. Cole did his thing and then backtracked. It was never about J. Cole. I've got a feeling that what that lyric from Future is either just him being ridiculous, entirely possible, or is some sort of jab. I don't know. I'm just purely speculating here. But it's such a silly line that I'm like, is that something that a leaker said that Drake said? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just speculating. I'm just speculating. Amazing song. Mad song. At times hilarious song. We love it. It is a dramatic time in music. Just when 2023 are sitting here day after day after day in front of these screens, in front of these lights, in front of this very expensive recording studio, thinking, is it over? Honestly, I'm just being real with you now. It's like, is it over? Of course, there's going to be big albums dropping. I knew The weekend was still dropping. There's still going to be great videos to be made. But that energy that was around, the ecosystem that was around the music, where everything was happening beyond the music, there's people going back and forth. There was other narratives going on. It wasn't just tunes. It just kind of dissipated. And it felt like it was the end of an era, like the decorations were falling down from the walls and it was time for a new genre to come and take over and perhaps not something that I was interested in covering. And that may still be the case to a point, but Metro and Future, along with Abel, along with Kendrick and others, have ignited new life into this world. All the stuff with Cole over the last week is part of it. All the stuff with now this is going to be part of it. And we're awaiting what I'm sure is an inevitable Drake response. I think it's massive. And it's very, very exciting. Because it means we're back. We're back with that same energy. The same energy, that same spark, and it's the fizzle. I had all the way back 2018. Love it. Love this shit. Right. Nights like this. I'm sure I've heard the name of this song. Is this a leak? I don't know. I don't listen to leaks. I don't do 300 die, but it's okay. I'm just trying to put a smile on your face. Everything we do is fire. Yeah. Nights like this, I need all of you. Nights like this, I send a car for you. Nice like this, I need all of you. Nice like this, I send a car for you. Nice like I, I. You don't even walk the way that you talk to me. Oh. This is just fucking superb. I mean, like I said, I'm still reeling, to be honest. From all to myself, I'm still reeling. So I'm not giving this song as much attention, perhaps, as it should be getting. But it's just so good. It just sounds fucking amazing. Don't this exact car. same song, lyrically and melodically, with worse production, we kind of do nothing, but Metro's elevated you it so much. You don't even walk the way that you talk to me. Acting tough, but I know you speak. Drop the top and spin the block or I'll send a phantom to you. These bitches hot, but they still can't hold a candle to you. 740 J, take us around the world if it's cool. I don't trust you, but I still share my location with you. All this paper. To the party for the photos. Show off my new outfit and show off my new bitch. Came to the party for the photos. 
So I find new outfit and show off my new bitch. I came to the this crime for the step all over your face. High definition, trap stars way over the basics. Super terrific. <laughs> came to the party for the photos. Show off my new outfit and show off my new bitch. Came to the party for the photos. No dedication, never show you desperate. St. Laurent furniture, St. Laurent dices. Give me my conscience, just take away my vices. Got high, forgot the funeral room, more love for my aunt. But I've been out to the truth, I hate whatever I was on. This money say, ain't going Did you just say, I got high and forgot the funeral, more love for my aunt? He got so high he forgot to to his auntie's funeral. Future? <sighs> I mean, it, it's, it's like a, a song and an artist like no other. I'm trying to get right, I'm trying to get right, I'm trying to get right for you. I'm trying to get right, I'm Ooh. keeping it right, okay. I'm trying to be right for you. I'm trying to get right, I'm keeping it right, I wanna be right for you Promise to tell the truth for you, cause I don't wanna lose you, girl Heart too fragile to be thinking about losing her Talking to a goddess, talking to her, she can tell I'm hurt Going out my way just to pick up your car Having patience with me, we gon' go far mm. Elevation with me, no we are Productions far Better than your this own one. life to a star I'm trying to get right, I'm trying to get right, I'm trying to get right for you I'm trying to get right, I'm keeping it right I wanna be right for you, right for you Shipping it off out of town to you Niggas can't even come around you G6 3 I went lamb for This song's so all over the place with production It's like almost like it's gonna build up to a house beat or an EDM type of beat for a minute and the repetitive chorus and those doom doom almost like taiko drums that are coming in Can't get my head around it Very, very strange song Since I met you I've been on my toes Grinding it out, I ain't lonely no more Found myself around with Now it's building now the internet, hold us back I'm going public, I'm two percent Doing drugs, fall in love, you're an older ass You belong to me I belong to you Falling Oh, it's voice to men. <laughs> this is a very, 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 very strange song. I thought that was, yeah, I was like, is that actually an interpolation? Well, yeah, clearly. I gotta get it right for you. Be there to fight for you, you, you. You on the way pronto. Mile High Memories. I wonder what this song's about. Don't make it real. I prefer that you lie to me. Give me that fucking guitar. None of it's real. We were just faking how to love. Try to pretend. I wasn't missing you at all. Gave me your soul. Hundred thousand feet above the clouds. Light up the smoke. It could be God himself. Anyone after me is a downgrade. bitch, I was thinking. It could be God himself. Anyone after me is a downgrade. What a line. Yeah. Come through busting up shit. I'm popping just like a pimp, dude. <laughs> Talk us out the friends, made it down the east. Conversing with one, it's a few ready to eat. Made it out the block where the gun sounds at. So mm, the production on this one is just fucking glorious. Oh. Metro booming, Metro booming, ladies and gentlemen. My yeah. God, where are we going next? Overload. I mean, this album is yeah. an epic. I'm on an overload. Fulfill your ego, fly to the ego. I'm on an overload. I pop one up like the Beatles. I'm going roller coaster. I'm going fully loaded with my feet up, putting eight zips in one alligator sauce for the floor. Gold digging bitch by the door. Hide in the blue when I go up. Hop on the lid and we go up. Money in the bag don't fold up. Went around the globe, they know us. Everywhere we go, got it sold up. Thousand one hit us with a roll up. Transform a coupe, got the doors up. I might say I love you, but I definitely don't trust. 
that shit. I'm on an mm. overload. Fulfill your ego, fly in the ego. I'm on an overload. I pop one up like the Beatles. I'm going roller coaster. I'm going for- and considering how many future and metro tracks I've now heard in the last few weeks, this one isn't life changing for me so far. But even still, it just has something. And a lot of these songs, I feel like, are designed to just switch up. It's like it's like almost a love album, kind of. I mean, it is much softer than the previous one. It's much more about relationships than the previous one. I mean, Future is the least relatable person of all time to me. Yet, there is an essence that Future can capture and project out onto wax or st fucking stream or whatever you want to call it. That you are, as a listener, and I as a listener, tap into. And it's a magical feeling. And I can only liken it to the feeling of his previous album cover. Not We Don't Trust You, his solo album. It was just in the back of his Phantom, all in purple with the sleep mask on. Pure luxury vibes. A little bit of disdain for most people. It, it, there's something, it's completely unique. And I only think that that comes, it comes from genuine experience. Like he has been around the block so long the same age, I think, that it's all of those years of experience. It just sounds so authentically him. He is the most authentically him person. And what he is, is like a true modern day rock star, not pretending to be anything other than what he is. I just love the authenticity. And I just love the essence that he's able to capture and project. It is amazing. Okay. Gracious. <laughs> Ooh, I, like this. I like this sound. No, I love the instrumental, this one. On first listen, probably my least favorite of the album so far, if I'm being honest. Metro's just on fire. I love the fact that he, as a producer, has now established himself as one of the biggest artists in the world. It's true. This isn't considered a future album. To me, it's considered a Metro album with Future and the previous one. But regardless, it is a collaborative album. And I think what he's done in doing this just raises the tide for all the other producers out there that are going to be getting fully credited now on songs because of what Metro's doing. And I think Metro is just leading the way in that completely. And I love the fact, I've always said it, all the way back to the beginning of Rock Reacts, and even before when I started listening to rap music years ago, and it didn't, I didn't really understand that it were, the rappers weren't making the instrumentation most of the time as well. This is like you know, truly years ago when I was a teenager. And I never really understood from then to the beginning of Rock Reacts, even to now, why the people making the music part of the music weren't getting as much credit as the people making the rapping part of the music. And I think that is something that should change. And I think that is something that is changing. Put up. Even got in the picture. You think it vanished away and erased out my system. You think I'm supposed to look at you hoes like my sister. You fuck my bro behind my back and I want tripping. Can't bear my feelings when you don't get my vision. Spinning chicken on pigeon something. Right, this is going straight to Drake. I was just listening to the crazy instrumentation. It's called Beat It. Obviously, Beat It, Michael Jackson song. Drake basically talking about himself as the modern day Michael Jackson recently. The street's malicious, but I know I got better wishes. Cross his in my kindness, Royal your highness, put the work in, go berserk, he is perfect time. Did Future and Drake fall out over a woman? Is that what's happened here? The look of bring out who you is, who you really are. Mm. Eating Waffle House, Dinah's requesting caviar. Oh, she gets her drunk of vagina, tastes like castles or I almost kept it cold, but instead it can turn the to a star. I took a bowling on the tools because the block was hot. We did some shroom, she did some whippets with a few of the vibes. She can't pop out whenever she wants, she need permission. Gotta be exquisite, that be a part of my religion. Ride and stay committed. Or be. I go out and tell her, be that. 
I mean, if this is just a song taken at face value, not an anthem for female empowerment, uh, not that we were expecting one for the future, but I mean, Jesus Christ. She can't pop out whenever she wants, she needs permission. All right, future. Let's not get R. Kelly over it. That look up, bring out who you is, who you are. I go off and tell her, beat it. Yeah. I go off and tell her, beat it. One of the stronger songs on this epic record. It's not as immediate an album as We Don't Trust You, which I just think really delivered on exactly the tone that I was expecting from Metro and Future. This gentler overall, much more about relationships. And as such, a lot of the songs aren't quite as immediate. There's fewer head nodders, but there's still so much here atmospherically. We can verse when it's dark. Give me them sims. I can hear it when it's dark. When you want it, they sound somewhat Danish. I can hear you when it's dark. Okay, we'll preload. When we'll preload. It, when I speak, it's from my heart. Come on. Come on. You know vision is a love. I'm indulging in your heart. I can't let you incredible, dude. No more. I can't let you break. Come on, future. It's gonna always be my fault. When those scenes came in, I had a feeling. Three tracks? Oh, Richard, what can I tell him? Fuck it, tell him. I can't trust you anymore, but I did it on my own. Pay the price, it's now alone. I guess I'll never sleep again. I just want to find my peace again. Reload. Sorry, it's got to be a reload. Honestly, honestly, that's the well, this is the one. This is the one. This is the one. Oh, be my fault. This is the one. Wow. What a fucking tune. What a tune this is. It's, I, I'm assuming it's Mike on the Sims. It has to be. It's too good. Taking the piss. What was that? Where did that come from? 16th track on the album. And then we just get a fucking all timer. An all timer? Like that? Never heard Future sound like that. Able on absolute flawlessness. Mate, what are we doing out here? What are we doing? 2023. A whole year of just fucking nothing. Really. Listen, some music came out, don't get me wrong. But just kind of nothing. And me, emotionally stunted. Medicated. Stunted. Just, just there. Honestly, I just felt like I was just there. Now I'm back in the real world. It's been rough to come back into the real world. But I'm clear-headed again. And I'm feeling feelings again. And it feels like the world in which I exist in is rewarding me for that by just dropping gifts. Sometimes you just got to sit 
You just got to sit with the track. That's going to get spun many, 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 many times. Many times. What a fucking amazing track that is. One big family. Feels like this is, if this was WWE, this would be the true establishment of the stable that is against Drake. Still going on with this mood. I mean, yeah. just 20 main bitches. Ooh. I swear I'm from oh. another planet. I love all of them the same. We just like one big family. If it's shorty, don't get on my body. I got judo on no way to Pilates. I should be like she one of my partners. I got three with the same name, probably. Smarter perky for shorty this morning. Had that work for Cabrina this morning. She was twerking, I started performing. Going surfing, I'm starting to enjoy it. I had double coming on the same flight. I hit Gabrielle on the same night. Fell in love cause she know this is gang type. This future, this Mr. Hendrix, Pluto, is why I can't get too invested when you talk about your heartbreak and when you talk about some of these women not treating you as you'd like to be treated. And I think you understand that. We're the same age. You're a sensible guy. You're a very smart man. You must understand that you can't sing a song like this and get everything else that you want in terms of loyalty. Heard you wanna go to Saturn. Pick a planet, I ain't average. Put Pick a planet. So Got my Pick a planet. It's not even I'm going to buy you a bag or money or shopping sprees or anything, although all of those things were said in this song. And I was like, I'm so amazing. You can pick a planet and we're going to go there. I got Aquafine on me on each lead. That's on where I'm sitting in the bathroom. Anytime I get she ready to smack some. Got a pop in that shit in the fan. On. Turn my bitch up, you know that's stand up. I mean, a ridiculous song, but a great song. The instrumental's amazing. But it, I mean, it's just such an unserious, ridiculous yeah. song. That's like, what am I supposed to say? That's <laughs> why I'm from who is this guy? Planet. We know who he is. He's from another planet. Okay. Different energy on this one. So you think I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna. Now I was sent a tweet with emotions, huh? She heard I said, Lean, she got emotion, huh? Coding got my heart like opium. I feel a heart beating when I'm hugging her. Take me back to Kingston to see my ancestors. Pissing on your grave and some red leather. Toast cold, Dean Trap stars. What we doing? Mm. A few remain nameless, deserve my dedication. I just want my movement like Larry Davis. Came from Amsterdam, had my head up. Screenshot, bitches got me fed up. Yo, I had Metro. to get the ghetto. Like the kick he just killing this one as well. Killing it. Just, just some bones, nigga. No survivor. No, she want that Bentiaga in his ivy. Had a stick in my hand while I was typing it. I know I'm arrogant, you must have been but a, You must have been on a pill when you recorded this. I mean, you're literally recording it right now. What are you talking about? Are you a fucking madman? Got my transport up with Mercedes Benz. I can never give up on what we had. Africa dabber made my side bitch better. Chanel trench, but she tastes like pineapple. I'm gonna stay down with you, but don't give me a headache. Rip the double law with the stars in the head wrist. Caught up with these bras, baby. Did I change the agent? Times got hard. Absolutely and I fucking spit. Everything real. I got my golden ears added. Don't score the stars. What we doing? Pluto got 20 girlfriends, damn I'm doing it wrong Cut off all my hoes, now I'm only putting you on a song Day one, shawty been with me from the playground Hey now, maybe that's the reason Uh, The fucking twist of the century? What the hell? I didn't even hear a word he said That absolutely threw me I was completely lost in the song I thought the song was finishing Okay, fucking what? Okay J. Cole switched sides? J. Cole was always switching sides? It was me, Austin. It was me all along. What's going on? Hey, one shawty been with me from the playground. Hey, now, maybe that's the reason I was playing around. Running like a chicken with his head cut off. Through the streets where the freaks love the red leather. On my shoulder blades, in my older age. See the error of my ways, but I'm still not totally over all the templation. I mean, it's absolutely fucking killing this. He's almost like talking about some of the stuff that I found confusing about his recent project, Might Delete Later, where he's both married and then talking about all of these hoes that he has, and it just felt like there was a bit of dissonance there. 
But I'm having dissonance right now because like, uh, why is J. Cole on this album? I mean, to be honest, like that was never really about Cole. It was a nudge. I spoke about this. Kendrick nudged him. It was just like, if you, mate, just fuck off for a minute. I'm going at this guy. You ever had a little falling out with your friend like that? But you make up a couple of hours later, maybe it takes two days. If you've got real friends that you've been friends with for a long, long time, it happens every now and again, maybe once a decade. That's what I see this as. But he, he was either already on this song before any of this happened, depending on when this was recorded, or he's just come on this song since. In which case, none of what he said makes any sense. Or maybe it does. I don't know what's going on. Betty, I feel power. Me and Astro, six folk. We the twin towers, twin glocks with the switch. Piece. Notice how he's rapping shots. beautifully in key. For, for the boy. When you add proximity. Future does it amazingly as well. Don't remember me forever. My story's more clever. My similes was better. Mm. My energy was never on some toughest nigga shit. I was just a conscious rapper that would fuck a nigga for a sense. Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Yeah. Through Shout out Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Now we on Metro on the VIP. Bitches incoming. Copping all this liquor for the whole. Like we make love and think it to myself. Mm. Could I really be with one woman? So. Well, he's completely addressed everything I said, not that it's directed at me. Although at this point, who knows what the hell's going on. Right, I'm bringing up the lyrics to this one because I just want to make sure that I... I'm trying to place it in time as much as anything else. I'm based on the lyrics here and just the reality of production and timing. I can only assume that this was written, and recorded and put together before the first record came out. And certainly before uh, Might Delete Later and Seven Minute Drill came out. Which makes the whole thing just utterly bizarre. I don't know what the hell's going on in the world anymore. Drake must be spinning at this point. Like, he's just utterly confused, as we all are. How's Cole doing? I tell you what Cole's doing. He's doing great verses on great songs. Seven Minute Drill aside, I don't like that track, although I'm annoyed because my boy Conductor Williams did the second half of that track and it's getting overshadowed because it's a fucking excellent beat and he is my guy. That's getting overshadowed with all the nonsense. Anyway, there's so much great stuff on Might Delete Later. So much amazing Cole rapping. And Cole's verse here, I think, is brilliantly constructed, brilliantly written, beautifully sung slash rapped in key, perfect with the beat, perfect with the vibe of the song. I'm just confused. But it actually addresses the thing that I was curious about, about Might Delete Later, that has nothing to do with Kendrick Lamar. Who knows what the hell's going on? Okay, disc two. At this point, who knows what's coming next? Am I going to be on this album and I didn't even realise I was there? It wouldn't surprise me. I can find a million future clones all around the world. Yes. <clears throat> I don't think there's any rapper that has influenced culture. I agree. And music. I agree. In future over the last it's, decade. It's, I think future has influence. We're back on the. Seems like we're back, back on the. Uh, yeah. Energy. At the first record. Don't know about it. And I'm here for it. Don't know about it. Don't know about it. Don't know about it. Baby. Committed to the game. It was like a whole new album, which it kind of is, right? Yeah. Huge track. Yeah, Metro, All my life I grew up, nigga. All my life I grew up, around some steppers and some killers. All my life, yeah. all my life I grew up, around yeah. Vanessa, drug dealers. Put up, cooking a ride today, I'm driving it out today. All my life I grew up, cover nigga. the landscape, bitch, doing what I say. Yeah. Turn up, I'm flying to Japan today, I'ma take no. this in today. All my life I grew up, so much pain, yeah. I got a billion in my sight. All my life I grew all up, my life I grew up, around some steppers and some killers. All my life. All my life I grew up around yeah. Vanessa drug dealers. All my life I grew up, I've been raised in the slum. All my life I grew up. Trust me. All my life. Wiping the notch for the day, you sell us apart. All my life I grew up. Just on my motor, my wrist was a quarter. I reached for quarters. I feel like I'm crazy. Coming in late, I've been hushing all day. She gon' run me a shower and sell me to sleep. So what I hit, I ain't do nothing else with a stiff on a little bitch. I won't even speak. All my life been serving. Ask about me, I got my hood turned. All my cars get drove in sport mode, chasing this cash 
We're just going straight in, no brakes, all transitions. It almost feels like his own EP. I'm with five thick strippers, they some lesbian. Yellow diamond, got this yellow bitch cross eyed. You ain't down for the game, you get cross eyed. I'm a product of the trench, Woo! nigga, Fox 5. Beat is crazy. Silver syrup, it can help when you traumatize. Hey, look. Drinking on red, got my cup sticky like Clado. Check out the barrel on that gun like potato. Ho chose my pimpin', I'm a real one. I'm with five thick strippers, they some lesbian. Can I trust you? Ho chose my pimpin', I'm a real one. I'm with five thick strippers, they some lesbian. Yellow diamond, got this yellow bitch cross eyed. That's a lot of albums to take in on first listen. Let's be honest. We get put in a certain mood by almost all of it, and it's a certain tone, and there's peaks and troughs, and then we end with Red Leather, which is an eye shutter and a head nodder, and then Cole turns up to confuse the hell out of everybody, and then it feels like the album's over. But no, we've got this extra EP on the end, which is all pace, all action, all gas, no breaks, and I'm like, man, this is a lot. I've been recording for fucking hours. We're getting close to three hours I've been recording for. Joe's dying out here editing. I'm dying out here. Recording, but it's all good. It's all good. These lot. These lot are mad. These two are mad. Got my bomb in my hand, Taliban. <laughs> Cut my crack with my nail, way to bear without the scale. Can I trust you? I'm cutting crack with my nail, way a bear without the scale. I'm a black amigo nigga, I got crazy clientele. Went from serving them grams to having Grammys. Still working 24 hours just like a deli. Gotta free my big brother locked in the celly. Cutting the crack with the nail, way and bill without the scale. I'm a crazy client. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got crazy clientele. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Police at my door. Junkies at my door. Police at my door. Junkies at my door. Police at my door. Pounds in the attic, pounds on the floor. Honestly, at this point, I feel like my brain is broken. I've just been recorded for so long. There's so many songs. And now these ones are so intense at the end, which I love. Hold on. Show of hands who won the fatal throw them hands. Told me show a bands, play your card, don't show your hand. Necklace gave me show the crack. Pinky ring, you show it. Man, my brain. Come on, okay, I'll take it back. I'll take it back. Take a chance. Both of them in my trap, nigga. Better watch your hook. Ain't no gap, nigga. Beat. Just in your dick. Crawl hardy, I just bought the whole store. This bitch so pretty, I wanna skate it on her face. I done took the Adderall just to count up my cake. I'm going Bugatti shopping, fucking up this paper. First time I smashed her, I was highly sedated. <laughs> it get past 3 a.m., I'm way out of my mind. Cost 380 and it barely got any diamonds. First one, mm. call up Pluto, Metro, shoulda put me on the first mm. one. Niggas swear they bitch the baddest, I just back the worst one. Niggas and they feelings over women, what you heard of son? I smashed before you birth, son. Flacco hit it first, son. Still don't trust shoes, always us, never them. Heard you drop your latest shit. Drake? I don't know, know anymore. Went, I don't know anymore, to be honest. Long, Drake's got to do one of two things. Say something or say nothing. It's got to do one of those two. No more cryptic Instagram posts and no more strange little things said on stage. It's time for a song, a serious song, or just nothing. Just go back to doing what you were doing. Chilling, Turks, new songs, whatever. I mean, bro said he was tired and he was going to gonna have a break. And now everyone's like, all right, he's going to have a break. Let's fucking get him. I blew a head up, now they call when? her a goat. When I went. Turned the swag up, her when last nigga was broke. Oh. When I went. Bought all them bags for her, can't feel them in her closet. Five thousand pounds in the tractor, I'ma get them out. Working on the avenue, young Pluto came up serving rock. For the constitution, bitch, I grew up in the drugs out. Bro, Why it's like you? this level of intensity at the end of this album is fucking a bit too much. I go, like, it's just a bit too much. Like, I've been in there a long time. On future listens, we're not future. On future listens, when I'm just enjoying the record, all good. But for right now, I'm like, my fucking brain is dust. Working on the avenue, young Pluto came up seven rounds. Fuck the constitution, bitch, I grew up in the drug zone. All this prostitution, how you doing, know nigga? Love gone, sell a phone. Shorty them on a the drill, they about to go out and perform. Hop in and found them, then I skirt away. Me getting that cover, where well, that's something I say. 
don't give a fuck how good she looking, trust none of the teams. Ice Metro and Future have produced 42 songs in just the space of three or four weeks. They've completely reshaped the current era of hip hop and rap, shifted the tectonic plates of the culture. And there's so many amazing songs on these albums, so many amazing surprises. And it has been both an honor and a privilege, and honestly, I work to react to these albums. Shout out to everybody for being here, too. If you want to go back to the first one, it's right here. If you want to hear the all to myself, reaction once again, uncut, that's up there. Jesus fucking Christ, I need to lie down. I need to lie down. I'm gonna, it's all been said. I'm having to lie down for half an hour. Peace.